Would you look at this? So we don't have a beach anymore, but we've got a whole bunch of rocks. We've got <laughs> rocks. Yeah, we've got trees. We've, I, I like this. This is cool. All right, let's do it. Obviously, we want to go for the lumberjack, right? The lumber pack right now, because we got a lot of trees going on here. So let's go. Let's find a nice spot for this this sawmill. I guess it'll be close by to the statue, but I don't want to put it right on top of the statue. How about right here next to these rocks? That seems nice. Yeah. Look at that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for a kind of organic looking placement for this. I don't want it to be super rigid. So let's let's just kind of establish him. Is he facing the water? Nah, he's going to face inside. Yeah, yeah. We'll do him like that. And then we get another one. Not too close. Not too far. Ooh, this, this is juicy. 20 points. I could put him right there and it'll be 20 points, but it'll look ugly in the grand scheme of things. So I'm going to move him back. I'm going to sacrifice score for aesthetics right now. Sometimes these things need to be done. You'll appreciate it later when it's all done. <laughs> all right, this time we got a mason and a brewing pack. Well, since we already saw the, the brewing pack last time, we'll go for the mason this time. That is a lot of masons. So what does this do? Oh, I have to put this on top of the stone. So it seems like, it seems to me that the type of island that we get has a slight influence on the type of structures we can build. So let's... What did we get? We got a, a mason, a sawmill, and a... We got four masons, a sawmill... And a lumberjack. I feel like this mason is going to require some foresight that I just do not have about the game. Which, it to me, is a little bit fascinating. Because I wasn't expecting there to be a meta for Islanders. But there clearly is. So, <laughs> that's a thing. So, we'll just, we'll just put one on each of the things. Because my thought process is... It's very clear that the game wants each of these different resources and structures to be isolated from one another so if there is something that gains a bonus from being next to the mason then i want it i want it to not interfere with with itself oh it gets bonuses from the statue can it reach though it can success oh so the the regular houses don't gain any bonuses for being next to the for being next to the to the mansions. That's got to be some kind of commentary on the rich not liking the poor and vice versa. But <laughs> I'm going for a little bit more of a fluid approach than, than last time. Last time I, I clumped everything together and it was really tight. And it, it, it almost seemed industrial. It, it had this very city-centric vibe to it. This time, I'm trying to make a Kind of a cul-de-sac type feel to it. A little bit more loose. It's like we're living in the suburbs. I don't want people on top of each other. And you know what? Since I know that there's a fountain, I gotta leave space for the fountain. Ooh, what did I get? I got a new thing. A brewing pack and a farming pack. All right, let's, let's put the... You gotta have beer. Wherever you... You, you always gotta have beer. So let, let's get the brewing pack and let's get that popping. It's gonna be the... the Right by the water. Right now in my fridge is a pack of Guinness Blonde. And it's pretty tasty. It's pretty tasty. One thing that is, is really influencing my, my design decisions with this city is my own sensibilities. Because I live in a city. I live in, in the Bronx in, in New York City. And I, I've lived in apartments for my entire life. And I have a huge dislike for living in houses. And the main reason I don't think I will ever live in a house for as long as I live is because there are too many points of entry. So whenever I put one of these houses next to another one, I'm thinking like, yo, this man's backyard is right next to my front yard. I don't like that. I don't like being that close. Give me some space here. <laughs> you know, I'd rather live in my little cubby hole and not have to talk to my neighbors ever. My neighbors don't know this, but I hate talking to them. 
Okay, actually, you know, I gotta be careful here because I'm I'm thinking so much about aesthetics, and I I still need to get twenty more points in order to get to the next tier. So let's let's tone down the artistry a little bit. Let me stop smelling my own farts and get my act together. I'm gonna destroy that rock because I feel like it's it's not helping anything. Ooh, look at that! I get fourteen for that because of the statue. Perfect. Ah, oh, this th I regret my placement of these mansions, one hundred percent. I mean, this is this is not good at all. Oh, this oh, I, I regret everything. All right, let's just let's take another pack and see if we can salvage this. <laughs> a shaman, sure. What does he do? All right, this is the one that gained. <gasps> Look at all those points. He gains bonuses for being next to flowers, and there's a whole bunch of flowers over here. Oh, this flowers everywhere. I think the first spot was the best one. Freaking hippies, man! They love their flowers, and they love giving us points. I'll take it. Right there. Does anybody else go? Ooh, look at this houses gain bonus points for being next to shamans. And we got another city center. So you know what? Forget this broke ass city center. We'll leave it there like that. And that's, it's just doing its own thing. We've made it. It's beautiful. Moving on. We'll make another city center. Over. Oh, the city center loses points being next to the shaman. Right, because cause old man with a beard comes out, he starts talking about how the bureaucracy isn't working and how the rich and the poor, they don't get along, they need to get along. And the, and the, the governor's like, dude, we can't have this in our town. Get out of here. So we'll put, this, we'll put the city center. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. The shaman is just going to have to deal with it. Oh, no, but then I'll end up destroying some of the flowers. Screw it. We're making, a, we're making a narrative here, people. The city center has been constructed next to the shaman. Old man with a beard. He doesn't like it. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't want all these, all these rich folk around him. He's just trying to do his shaman thing. Trying to make his potions, do DMT, all that stuff. And, you know, we're, we're a house divided right now. On one side, we've got the regular man, regular people smoking at reefer, hanging out with the shaman. And then we got these rich folk on the other side doing something oh, I still haven't even unlocked another island oh crap I thought I was almost done with this island but clearly I'm not I've got a long way to go I got another city center a, a mill and some fields okay so let's let's start with the mill because we'll go we'll go back to the green I just, I just can we just appreciate this for a second i think this is the most beautiful thing that i've ever created in my entire life this little this city center with the two mansions the shaman and the these four houses this is the most beautiful thing that i've ever created in my life i am not prouder of anything in my life than i am of this and i never will be so moving right along with that let's put the mill down and start making our farms okay okay i'm gonna metagame this right now we're gonna we're gonna put our windmill in this super centralized location, and it's gonna get a lot of points being right next to the statue, the city center, and then the farms are gonna surround it. So let let me put the farms down first. I'm gonna put one farm here, another farm here. Hold on, another farm right there, and then look at that. That's 26 points beautiful and I've almost unlocked another island all right we got a fisher and a f yes the, the fountain is exactly what I've been waiting for this is this is it I, I made I left this space open specifically so I could put the fountain down look at this oh yes do I put it here oh it's, it's worth the same amount of points in both spots if I put it here, it makes this look, look kind of like a shopping mall. Alright. Alright, that's fine. I still haven't unlocked it. I'm, I'm actually really excited to unlock another island. I mean, that's kind of nice, right? Once again, hindsight is twenty twenty. The angles are a little bit messed up. But I, I like it. I like what I'm doing here. I'm very happy with it. I don't even know how long I've been playing. How long have I been playing? I've been playing this for 40 minutes. And I could keep playing this. 
for about 400 more minutes without without getting tired of it and that, that that's a testament to to the developers of islanders you, whoever you guys are that they, they, they did a fantastic job i'm i'm absolutely taken aback by the 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 beauty of this game and, and how enjoyable it is okay okay that, that's enough that's enough that's enough okay look look i i i just had the more fun than i've had in 40 minutes than I've had over the last 40 days. It's a little bit ridiculous. Maybe I'm being hyperbolic. Maybe I'm not. Maybe that's true. But whatever the case is, uh, if you enjoyed watching me play this game, then I'll certainly do more of Islanders because I thought this was a lot of fun just kind of messing around and playing something that, that makes me happy. Um, if you enjoyed listening to the conversation, that's cool too. What I plan to do for the rest of this week is just dip my toes into a bunch of different games that I enjoy playing. So I'm going to play a little bit of the division two talk about the type of content that I would like to make for the division. If I do make content for it, it'll be, it'll be a little bit different from what we saw with Anthem and, and even a little bit different from what we saw with destiny, but it's going to, it's going to be a lot of talking over these, over, over these next couple of weeks. We're going to be, we're going to get to know my thought process a little bit more and, and maybe even learn what it's like to, to be a content creator and, 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 and what goes into coming up with ideas on, on what to make and and how I'm going to present different things and talk, talk about all that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun, man. So hopefully, hopefully if you guys have been enjoying the Anthem videos, then you can find some kind of joy in these two. Uh, I, I certainly find a lot of joy in just, just playing these different games and, and really reconnecting with why I am a gamer in the first place. It's not, it's not for any 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 fancy reason this is i love i love taking myself outside of reality for a little while and and making something beautiful experiencing something unique and that's definitely what islanders is and even the triple a games like anthem the division and destiny it's a unique experience in a world that is outside of reality it's fun to, to step into that space for a little while so that's what we're going to be doing over the next couple of days and and we'll see we'll see where the future takes us so as always, the name of the game is Islanders. The name of the channel is iBlueAirJGR. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.